Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you something very basic. It's how to power an LED, or it could be something else for that matter, from an Arduino. So, if you imagine you have no switch and you just want the Arduino to decide when to turn something on or off, this video will be good for you. So, to start with, we're going to need, well I'll put the Arduino in here. This is an Arduino Nano, but any Arduino will work really. Then I've got an LED and a resistor. I'll put the LED in there. The long side is the plus side. I'll just push that in. Now I've got a resistor. This is a 100 ohm resistor. And the idea of this resistor is that it stops the LED from burning itself out. Because if you just connected the LED straight to 5 volts, um, it would it would draw more current than it can handle and it burn itself out. So I'll plug the ground lead in, ground to ground and five volts two. I'm not going to plug this into five volts, I'm going to plug it into D2. D2. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you this. Okay. Now it's time to write a script. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to make this LED blink. So let's go to the top. And, and define some pins, well define a pin, so define LED and, we'll put, and that will be pin 2. Then over here in setup we'll say um, pin mode LED output and in loop uh, we need another variable up here actually, we'll have bool state equals low then in loop we'll say state equals not state I'll explain that in a second and then we want digital right LED state then delay 1000 Okay, so this defines the pin so that from now on pin 2 is called LED. State, that's going to hold the current state of the, um, of the LED, so whether we're sending power to it or not. Low means no power, high means there is power, and this would be outputting 5 volts. So, set up a pin, so we're getting a pin and we're telling the Arduino that we want to use that pin, which is number 2, as an output. We're going to output something to that pin. So state equals not state. Okay. So every time this loops, which is going to be every second because we're delaying by a thousand milliseconds, every time this loops, state is going to be set to not state. So state is going to be set to what it's not. In other words, the first time state is low. First time this loops, it's going to get state which is low, and it's going to make it into not low, or in other words, high. And every time it loops, it's going to undo. So the next time it will be high, and it would say state which is high equals not state, but state being high, so it means equals low. So state equals low. Then digital right LED state, that means output to that pin, the LED pin. The value of state which will be high or low and high or low in this context means 0 volts or 5 volts and then of course delay right so I'm going to plug this in check the com port yeah com4 and then upload Okay, so it's done uploading. 
And now I'll, sh I'll go back to the camera so I can show you what's happening with the Arduino. Okay, so we've got the Arduino to make the LED blink. Now, just by changing the delay, we can make this faster or slower or whatever. But let's say we want the LED to always be on after a button's pressed, and then after the button's released, it sets a timer, and then it sets the LED off after a certain amount of seconds. So this could be something like a light. So imagine you um, you go outside and it's dark outside. You want to press a button, a little push button, and then you want the light to stay on for an amount of seconds and then automatically switch back off. So let's do that next. Let's get the Arduino to, to help us out with that. And I'll add a switch to the project. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add a switch. I'm going to put that switch there. And I'm going to connect one side to ground, so there's one pin to ground, and I'm going to connect the other pin to D3, like that. Okay, and then back to the code. So the first thing I'll do is define the pin, define swear pin 3. Over here, pin mode swear input underscore pull up. Input pull up. Yeah, so this switch, uh, well, actually, not the switch, but D3 is going to always assume high until told otherwise. Basically, that's what that means. So, as you know, just a second ago, we connected one pin to ground and the other pin to D3. So when that button's pressed, it's going to short D3 to ground, and then D3 will be reading ground. Okay, so we'll just check that before we go further. So um, serial dot uh, print learn digital read uh, switch. And we're missing serial, so serial dot begin one one five two hundred. And let's just upload this and verify that this is working. So it should be displaying uh, high, 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 high. But when we press that button, and you're going to need to hold the button for at least a second it should be saying low, 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 low. So I'll get the console up. Ah, and it is saying high, 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 high. Now if I press the button and hold it in, it should say low. Yeah, zero, zero, zero. Zero means low and one means high. So I'll let go of that and it's one again. So that's good. So I'll close the serial console. Right, let's, let's continue with this sketch. So we want the LED to always, well, let's see. No, we'll get it to start low. Let's get rid of state. Let's get rid of that for now. Just comment that out. A digital write state. Um, leave that out for now as well. Now, what we want to do is we want to know if the button is pressed. So... We need to put an if in there. If digital read switch is low, then, so if the switch is low, then we need to know, uh, well, two things we need to do. We need to write high to the LED. So we need to write high to the LED. Okay, in other words, turn the LED on. So as soon as somebody clicks or presses that button, um, the LED will turn on. That's the first step. So now I'm going to change. I'm going to change delay to one millisecond. 
so this is going to be very very fast and I'll upload this now and we'll go back to the camera and what should happen is that whenever the button's pressed the LED should glow and whenever the button's released the LED should stop so I'll just go back to my camera okay so what should happen now is the LED should be off as soon as we press this button it should turn the LED on and you can see it does okay so far so good but we need to go back to the code again because now the LED is not turning off so we need to um, get this to turn off a certain amount of times after the button is pressed so back to the code okay we're back to the code and now we need to introduce a timer so if digital read switch equals low in other words it's pressed or D3 is, is reading low then we need to set a timer so let's see millis we're going to use the millis function so last switch pressed oops equals millis now millis is an amount of milliseconds since the arduino has been running and last switch pressed this is a variable which i'm going to put up here um, so this needs to be um, unsigned long I won't go into what unsigned long is but that's what you need for now so last switch pressed equals millis now so if the if the button is pressed then we update this variable the last switch pressed to now now if the button is not pressed then we need to do something else so else if the button is not pressed then we need to consider turning the LED off so if the time now which is millis so if the time now is greater than it's greater than the last pressed time plus an amount of seconds so let's say um, let's say 10 seconds it's all in milliseconds of course so if the time now is greater than the last um, time plus 10 seconds then switch the LED off okay oops I've just forgotten something that actually needs to be low of course so if it's past 10 seconds set it low okay so it's done uploading let's go to the camera okay so I'll press the switch and the LED should come on and it should go off after 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and we'll do it again three four five six seven eight nine ten okay there's a bit out there but okay um so there we go that's how to make sort of a timeout um system on the arduino and um, also at the same time that's how to power very low powered devices um, if you're trying to power a device which takes more than 30 milliamps you're better off looking um, at powering it a different way and very 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 briefly I'm not going to go into it but very briefly you would look at powering a higher powered device with either a relay one of these or a transistor which is one of these but more on that in the next video or one of the next videos okay so there we go i'll just show you one more time so we've pressed the switch the leds come on and there should be a 10 second timeout and the led should automatically turn off and there
there we go. And that's how to do it. So thank you for watching. Bye.